Zakat al-Fitr. Every lunar year after the month of Ramadan, the Muslims celebrate Eid al-Fitr, which Allah made as an occasion of happiness and a time for the Muslims to contact each other. At the time of this Eid, Allah made a zakah obligatory on every Muslim who owns one sa' of food more than he needs for himself and his family for the day and night of the Eid. One sa' equals approximately 2.40 kilograms and it has to be from one's staple diet such as rice or dates or wheat etc. A Muslim pays this zakah on behalf of himself, his wife, and everyone who is under his financial care, and it is preferred to even pay it for the fetus in the womb. Here we have Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, reporting that the Messenger of Allah ordained zakah to fitr as a sa' of dates or a sa' of barley on the slave and free man, male and female, young and elderly, Muslims, and he ordered it to be dispersed before people go out to the Eid prayer. The best time to pay Zakat al-Fitr is on the day of Eid after dawn and before the Eid prayers, but it is permissible to advance it before Eid by a day or two, as some companions did. However, delaying it until after the Eid prayer is not permissible, as indicated in the hadith narrated by Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him. Whoever disperses it before Eid, meaning the Eid prayer, then it is an accepted zakah. And whoever disperses it after the prayer, then it is just like any other alms. That is, it is not considered to be zakah al-fitr. Important Notes The scholars have stated different important points concerning zakah. The first one is that the basic way to pay zakah is to pay it from what it is mandated on, but it is permissible to monetize it when a compelling need for this arises. Similarly, the norm is that zakah on properties is to be monitored by the authorities and not left to the payer's discretion. But if the authorities neglect this duty, the responsibility would then lie on every Muslim. The scholars allowed the investment of the money of zakah in beneficial projects whose benefits go to the people entitled to it when an immediate need requiring its prompt distribution is not found. Also, zakah is viewed as a periodic right payable from a property, but on one's property there are other rights apart from zakah, which are characterized by being contingent and are not calculated according to any known formula as zakah is. They are also not as constant as zakah and do not become obligatory due to the presence of money. Rather, they become obligatory due to some contingent reasons and the ownership of money is a condition for it being obligatory. Examples include spending on one's parents, relatives or wife and in the prevention of any harm in times of disaster when the public treasury cannot take care of it. Levies or taxes do not spare one from zakah, even if they are equitable. Zakah is a form of worship, while tax is a civic duty and one does not replace the other.